Okay. When I was a kid, I, I, I would walk. Uh, I was in ROTC during the Vietnam War. Could, uh, as a 14-year-old kid, walked up and down our high school campus in our ghetto high school with an M1 semi-automatic rifle. No one thought I was going to shoot up the place. What happens in 1996, they passed federal legislation saying you can't have a gun in the school. Uh, almost immediately thereafter, there is a succession of copycat school right. shootings that has continued unabated. And media and hyping it and creating an irrational phobia uh, of guns. Sir, I want to do three more minutes with you on the other side. I want to ask you as one of the top experts in the country up on the Hill tracking what they're doing. Other ways they're coming after the Second Amendment because uh, they've started beating the war drums, as you know, to, to come after it again. Another big push. What are they planning with Mike Hammond? He is okay. the top legal analyst uh, there at gunowners.org, the only no compromise Second Amendment national group in the Republic of the United States. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed 
designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the info war to the next level. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to the Alex Jones Show. The persecuted filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza is coming up in a moment. Excerpts of an interview I did earlier in the week. It is extremely important for the First Amendment freedom across the board. But but finishing up with Mike Hammond, chief legal analyst for Gun Owners of America. In the two minutes we've got left, what are some of the other attacks that are extra uh, judiciary outside of law? I mean, they admit they're going to use executive power to curtail our guns. Last time I heard, the executive doesn't legislate. Okay, let me talk about uh, two things, one a minute. First of all, uh, the efforts of BATF to come into dealers in connection with their annual inspections and photocopy all of the uh, all of the gun records, that is, all the 4473s, all the bound book records, as a uh, effort to effectively create a national gun registry. Now, we thought that was illegal, and... But if they have all the 4473s in Arizona setting in an office in Tucson and all of those in Nevada setting in an office in Las Vegas, and they can all be accessed from Washington, D.C., guess what? You have a national gun registry, which should be very scary to people at this point. Secondly, import bans. Uh, Barack Obama, as you know, basically recently moved, well, he tried to move to cut off the import of all shotguns on the basis that they had no sporting purpose. I don't know what he thinks we do with them. He also tried to ban the import of of, of Russian ammunition, hollow point ammunition, which is still in place unless we can get a Ted Cruz or a Rand Paul to offer an amendment to an appropriations bill to stop that. And finally, 80 House members wrote to Barack Obama and said, oh, we weren't able to pass the seminar ban. Guess what? You can do the same thing by banning the import of all semi-automatic firearms using your inherent executive authority. So, so they're doing a de facto move to restrict the Second Amendment. In the last 30 seconds, what message does it send to see rhinos being defeated in every major primary by people like David Bratt? Well, I hope it sends a message that 2014 is going to be a tsunami year, because unless we take over the Senate and the House with real conservatives, then Harry Reid is going to use his cheat scheme rules to pack the courts and to turn the Second Amendment into a, as far as the courts are concerned, a nullity. This is life and death for this country. George Washington launched the nation. Obama is trying to kill it. You cannot mince words. It, it, is, it is too insane. Uh, thank you so much for your time, sir. Godspeed. All right, folks, here is excerpts of the interview I did with award-winning filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza. They're not just going after the Second Amendment. They're persecuting, with the IRS and other systems, the First Amendment as well. Dinesh D'Souza is here. And in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act, uh, to quote another great thinker, uh, Eric Blair, a.k.a. George Harwell. So, Mr. D'Souza, thanks for making time to come on with us today. It was one of the producers of Schindler's List, who I know you're working with. I actually knew you were being indicted a day before through a mutual friend, and but, but couldn't talk about it on air. Uh, and they were all really freaked out. And, and, of course, he said that he's never been afraid to live in this country until now. Uh, Matt Drudge has said everyone should have an exit strategy after what happened to you. I mean, I think we need to recognize that you're being persecuted uh, or it could happen to all of us. What do you say on that front? I know you're in court now. What can you say about the case? And we'll move on to your new film. Sure. I um, I exceeded the campaign finance limit by giving twenty grand, $20,000 to my uh, longtime friend, Wendy Long, 
who was running a really an uphill, even an impossible campaign uh, for the Senate. I should have set up a PAC. There are many different ways to do it. So I made a mistake. Uh, but I think what's shocking to me is the way in which I see, not just my case, if I look nationwide, the way in which the Obama administration Tom has delay. been recklessly circumventing the law uh, from the Defense of Marriage Act on through immigration, turning the blind eye to guys on their own side who are doing shocking things. I mean, here's Harry Reid diverting campaign finance funds to his daughter or granddaughter's wedding uh, and no investigation, no prosecution. So this is a case where Lady Justice and the Obama administration appears to have taken the blindfold off and is kind of winking at her pals uh, and then kind of taken off after her enemies. Very well said. What can you say about your case, where it's going, the release date for the film? I mean, I hope that this doesn't derail your film. It absolutely won't do that. I have to appear before a judge in September to decide my fate. But the film comes out July 2nd. We, we actually open in Houston and Atlanta, June 27th. That's kind of an early run. But the week of July 4th, on Wednesday, July 2nd, uh, Lionsgate is releasing this film into over a thousand theaters nationwide. So it's going to be a great 4th of July rocker. But it's also a 4th of July slap in the face to the progressives because it's a way of looking at what they're what they've been doing to America. We normally expect anti-Americanism to come from the outside, from the Nazis or the Soviet communists or maybe from some Iranian mullah. But the most vehement takedown of America is now occurring within this country. And that's what this book and the film is intended to be an expose of. Undoubtedly, they're scared of this film. Um, I mean, it's you're not tooting your horn to say that. I think we're just saying prima facie facts here. But from, from your inside perspective, sir, I mean, do you agree with that statement, A, B, why do you think they're so scared of it? They should be scared. Uh, and if they're not scared, they're 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 like they're going to be. Uh, 2016 scared them a little bit because in 2016 I went sort of into the world of Obama. I was at his family homestead. I flushed his brother out of a degraded third world slum um, in Nairobi, uh, and that upset Obama. We know this for a fact because Obama personally came out railing against 2016 on his website, BarackObama.com. Now, if they were scared of 2016, uh, wait till they see America because America is a much more explosive, more powerful film. It brings the the whole argument home. It's not just about Obama. Obama and Hillary are in the film, but it's about this vast progressive movement, which has, in a sense, made the long march through the institutions of elementary and secondary education, uh, academia, Hollywood, the media, national public radio, the mainline churches. So sometimes while the conservatives and Republicans are huddling and trying to figure out, gee, how do we take back the Senate? These guys have basically taken over the commanding heights of our culture, and they're conducting a relentless indoctrination campaign campaign against our young people. They're doctoring American history. So the film blows the whistle on this whole menagerie. And, and you were talking about persecution of others. I mean, I've seen MSNBC, we played the clips, say, good, arrest the Tea Party. Good, don't let them be politically involved. Uh, Fox News has reported on Army mem memos at Fort Hood saying, you could be court-martialed if you're part of the Tea Party or evangelical. I mean, this is stuff beyond Cuba, and they're just doing it out in the open, calling it liberal. I mean, I can't think of language strong enough to describe this group other than authoritarians. I mean, how would you describe them? I do think that Obama has an authoritarian streak. I th also think from what I now know about him, and I've talked to his relatives, that he's an incredibly mean-spirited and vindictive guy. To give you a small example of how he is, when I was interviewing George Obama, I later talked to Obama's sister, and she goes, well, you know, we're having George followed. This is, <laughs> the, the family is having one of its own siblings followed. Uh, and there is, so they, there's a paranoid streak going on over there. They look at critics, not as well-meaning people who disagree with them, but as enemies who have to be, in some senses, put out of business. Uh, and so I think this is a very dangerous mentality. Uh, you know, we didn't see it with Clinton. We wouldn't have seen it with Jimmy Carter. O Obama has, in a sense, represents a new low in American politics. If we took the smartest and the best of the world from all over the planet from japan to india from russia to germany all right, to Mexico. folks the the full 30 minute long interview is up on infowars.com right now on this sunday if you want to go watch the full interview from earlier in the week we're going to come back and premiere uh, in in total my stansbury research uh, speech in dallas we're going to premiere that that i've always believed in nutrition and herbs
super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my male vitality about three days ago and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I, I look forward to waking up and, and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today 